Hello, this video is about creating consistent characters in Stable Diffusion. So we can define a consistent character as a person who has the same face, same clothes, in different poses and different backgrounds. Now, uh, creating 100% consistent character in a Stable Diffusion is impossible, because Stable Diffusion is inconsistent by design. To create 100% consistent characters with clothes, you should use Blender or other 3D softwares, not Stable Diffusion. However, it is possible to achieve high level of consistency, which can be convincing enough. Now, uh, to have the same face in Stable Diffusion, we can, for example, create a sample prompt, which is a portrait prompt, so that we can use it later with After Detailer. We could also have a consistent face with the help of Rube. Now, if we fix the seed, we get the same face, but when we change the prompt, the face changes. Also, this reduces the flexibility of the output. So, it's effective sometimes, but in most cases, it's not. Now, for example, we create a portrait, okay? Uh, this portrait, for example, we try to make it as detailed as possible. So, in uh, this location, for example, we can and uh, add a random name, for example. Okay, we don't need to put this, but uh, having such a name uh, uh, will help Stable Diffusion to pick features from random characters, which are most likely learned by SD as well, okay? So, Clip will separate this name into something like this, for instance, and try uh, to uh, get some features from uh, from similar tokens that exist in the Stable Diffusion. It's just to create a random face, so we don't really need to do this, okay? So we try to make the prompt as uh, clear as possible, as, as detailed as possible. For example, if we are satisfied with, the, uh, with a certain face in general, we move it to After Detailer. Now, After Detailer will help us to create a consistent face for any character. And we will enable After Detailer. Now, without After Detailer, it's really difficult to get uh, full body shots with the good faces. Now, the next step is to create a full body shot. Now, we create a full body shot or cowboy shot and enable After Detailer. Now, we can also create a new character using Laura's, for example. Uh, for instance, uh, we can uh, mix different, we can mix different uh, Laura's, such as Korean, uh, Japanese, etc., with our prompt to have our unique character produced, for example. If we have a Korean doll likeness and we put it to 0.3 and we want Latina for instance 0.2 etc so we can mix different uh, characters to produce a new model that will have a consistent face for example we put these Laura's inside the after detailer for the, the facial so if we take a closer look we can see that all these characters generated have the same face okay that we have planned so this is a consistent face now, another method for, for having a consistent face without after detailer is using Rube. Now, uh, we drag the face that we want here, for instance, and generate the pictures. We press enable. Now, in general, Rube can produce acceptable results. Uh, in general, it's used if we want to do something like deep fake or uh, have a face uh, of a real world person drawn onto the characters. Now, we can see this is the result produced by Rube. We can see that the faces are, are a little bit gloomy. They don't look, uh, look that pretty in comparison to After Detailer. So, this is about consistent faces. Now, we move to consistent clothing. Now, consistent clothing is more difficult because some clothes are more complicated than others. So, for example, for simple clothes, this could be much simpler. Now, if we try to generate uh, the same uh, with the same, using the same prompt with different seeds, we will get changes in the clothes. This is why we need to use Control Net in order to improve uh, the proximity to our clothes. So, even with simple clothes, we can produce almost similar clothes. However, some changes may occur from one picture to another. For example, in this picture, we have one pocket, one pocket, or here we have two pockets, one pocket two pockets, strap, etc. So even with simple clothes, uh, some changes may occur without the use of control net. Even with control net, controlling uh, the clothes might not always produce perfect results. So achieving 100% uh, consistency is almost impossible in stable diffusion. Now in control net, there's something called reference. Now reference is not a control net model. It is only a preprocessor. However, it helps to produce pictures with the same style as the input picture. Now, ideally, we should actually, because if we want uh, just the style of the clothes, so we should act ideally remove the background, test the generation. Now, it's better if I want the style of the person itself, it's better to remove the background using Photoshop. Uh, 
can remove the background or using automatic 1111 11 background removal tools. For example, here we have the background removed. Now we drag and drop it here, choose enable, reference, we keep it balanced, then we generate sample 10 pictures to see the result produced when the background is removed. So uh, the generated pictures now, if we look at them, we can see that all of the pictures generated uh, basically have the same cloth style and regarding the, the pants or the jeans, they are the same. We can see that they all have the same belt. The point is that with the reference, uh, it's possible to achieve better consistency when it comes to clothes. Now, this is the produced result for sample 12 images. We can see that the style is preserved in most majority of the pictures. However, two pictures, for example, have white shirt. We can see here, for example, the details of, of the inner shirt are the same, basically. The outer jacket are very close to each other, which is really good, acceptable for stable diffusion. Now we can improve this process by improving our prompt, for example, we can say something like wearing short yellow winter jacket and uh, add some negatives, so we will describe the prompt better, hopefully that we would get more consistent images. Now we can see here, for example, that the generated images are more consistent. Basically we have almost the same coat style, the same shirt under the coat and the same jeans, okay? We don't have a belt in all of the images, which is really good. Now, one of the pictures did not, well, did not uh, was not produced as I wanted, okay? But this is good in general because this is like 92% uh, consistency. Now, if we increase the level of details in the, in the prompt, we might get better results. We can also uh, manipulate the control net parameters, such as the style fidelity, etc., and or the control net weight and hopefully that we can produce better results. Now in this example for here for example we can see that in all of the clothes we have the same jacket, the same pants, almost the same shirt and all of them or most of them do not have a belt so the, the style have, in, have become more like the original reference image and we have the same face because we are using after detailer now, in order to have uh, the same uh, clothing style with the same face of the person that we have designed before, we can use multiple control nets. In the first control net, for example, we can put a paste picture uh, and use a reference model. Okay. Then in the second control net, we can use a control net uh, with open pose. For the open pose, I will use a ready to use open pose such as none. Uh, if I have a picture, I can use DW pose full, for example, which is slightly more accurate than open pose. This is just a preprocessor. Then we run the picture and we get a picture with the same face and almost the same clothing style. Now we can generate, for example, using a batch folder and uh, try to produce a large number of images. Now it's also possible to use LoRa's inside after detailer and in the prompt this will help us also to increase the consistency of the output to always, to always have the same face. For example here we can see that using different clothes that were not trained with the subject we can always have the same face of the person. Now of course as we explained in previous videos that inside the main prompt we would put the, the LoRa of the person with the lower weight and uh, in the portrait, we would we would put it, put it in the full weight in order to produce the highest details possible. So as a conclusion, achieving 100% consistency in different character clothes and scenes in stable diffusion is impossible. But we can get good enough results with help of after detailer, LoRa's, and ControlNet. And have a good day.